This will be the second step in uh, making sumac dye. You can see I've gathered um, staghorn sumac and um, stored it. This is probably two years old and after I gathered it I just put it away in a big plastic bag and you can put it in your barn or someplace like that if you don't have a barn an outbuilding and it'll keep for um, years so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, and break off the heads of the staghorn sumac along with some of the branches and leaves and um, we're going to put it over here in a um, large um, canning kettle with rainwater and um, I'm going to boil that for about an hour. We should get some really nice deep uh, tan color for my quills. Um, you can see even with the dried that the stems are real fuzzy and the, um, the heads are fuzzy too and that's how you can determine staghorn from the smooth. I don't know if you can see here, but um, it's actually a fuzziness to the stem. As you can see, I filled the canning kettle with uh, just about as much sumac as I could fit in. Um, we have uh, the heads, which are really, really good. Um, I like to use the some of the stem and the bark and uh, the leaves also. Uh, now what I'll do, I'll, I'll fill this kettle full of rainwater from my rain barrels, and then I'll simmer it outdoors for, um, like I said, I'll probably boil it for about at least an hour. We'll see how the color goes. Okay, you can see I've added the um, rainwater and filled it pretty well full, and uh, I just have it out here on an outdoor grill, and I'm going to let that cook for a while, and we'll see what happens. This, the sumac dye is also used in a lot of your other natural dyes um, to set the colors and bring it out. Um, it's used in matter root, and I've used it in cochineal too. So it's good for more than just the tan, uh, the tan color. It adds tannin to um, to the other colors and and really makes it set so we'll let it cook for a while and see what we get. I simmered this outside on the grill for probably five hours or so and until I could see I was getting some pretty dark color and then I just um, used my strainer you can use any kind of a strainer this is the one I use and um, poured it through there so it could um, catch any of the little berries and things and then I transferred it to another pot to uh, start cooking my quills. Okay you can see the liquid that I have drained off of the sumac juice. You can see it has taken a lot of color and I've taken the cleaned quills that have been washed um, I like to wash them in Dawn detergent and just a little bit of bleach so those have all been washed real well and um, the darker quills that have been in there already a couple hours simmering so we're going to leave them in there overnight and see if we get some nice tan color. Well this is the color that I ended up getting. Um, it's tan but I noticed it is um, when I use it for quilling it's kind of a um, tannish green but you know it's natural dye it is going not going to be the same every time you do it you will have the colors a little different every time um, and I noticed when I used the same sumac last fall and I dyed a bed jacket with it the bed jacket came out with a tan but with a green tint so it just probably is that sumac that I picked that year. So um, um, just, you know, be flexible. It is natural dye and the colors will vary, but be basically, basically what you would like to have.